All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Goofy from a cartoon called Victory Vehicles from 1943, and this was during the Second World War. So, um, of course, the drawing would be fitting. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the paper to the side a little bit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and sketch in the nose. Okay, real simple. And as you can see, there's an outline to save some time, okay, just so you can see different ways of drawing different things. Darken that line in. Many, many ways of doing things until you find your own niche. And I'm going to try to show you as many as I can. Okay, so you can kind of see where it's going from that point. One of the ways that this helps too is you can kind of familiarize yourself with the shape of whatever character you're drawing. Start off real light with an outline and then kind of more or less know exactly where you're going to be at. So that way, you know, let's say you're an artist that doesn't like the shapes. Let's say you're an artist that doesn't like, I don't know, following the traditional way of doing things or however you want to say it. You know, this is, again, one of the ways that you could figure yourself out as far as the type of artist you want to be. Turn the paper here a little bit. Realistically, anybody that's going to draw straight like this, okay, I mean, it's good practice and everything, but even in animation, you know, they, they turn their papers. It just makes it for, you know, it, you're comfortable that way. And anything that's comfortable, you know, that's worth doing makes sense so kind of see where that's going all right so you got the basic foundation of it out because this is a very simple drawing very easy to remember very easy to figure okay now what we're going to do here with today is we're going to go ahead and just darken everything in with a pencil again this is a 2h pencil and um we'll just darken it in from there so you just darken a couple lines here and there I mean, it's it's all it's all very simple, really. You just have to find your niche when it comes to being an artist, and you have to dedicate yourself into the art. And like I said uh, on one of the other videos, is just depends on how badly you want it. You know, if you're drawing just for fun, I mean, hey, you know, that that's good too. But if you're drawing because you want to do something with it. Or if you just enjoy it and you're really, really good at it, you know. I mean, even then, I, I'd say practice because the more you practice, the better you can only get. And, you know, your art doesn't, you know, doesn't deteriorate at all. The only time it does is if, I mean, you really, really stop the whole way through. All right, so this is basically what you should have right now or, you, you know, after the outline. And darken in the lip. Okay. You can kind of see where it's going. What you're going to do right after that is you're going to make two solid lines. Okay, but you're going to make one. The, the line on the inside closest to the lip, you're going to make longer. And the one next to that, you're going to make smaller. Okay, you're going to sharpen these lines here at a point where they come pointing down this way. Draw the line this way, right on the side. And let me turn the paper over. These are going to serve as the teeth. Because as you know, go be as teeth. Come back with these lines here. Make the bottom part of his chin. Okay, come back down to his neck. Strengthen those lines up a little bit. Now his ears, because he's got that hat on, are going to be pushed to the back. Okay, and of course, with Goofy's ears, they were always even. So I mean, kind of goes without saying. All right, this is where you should be at from this point. And what you're going to do next is you're going to come back over to these lines here. And you're going to come back to this line here. 
and then duplicate it. But once you get to this area, you're going to make a round line on top. And of course, that's going to serve for the eye. You're going to do the same thing on this side, but make one of them smaller. Because, okay, you know, one eye is bigger than the other in this particular cartoon. And, you know, it makes sense because he's goofy. One line this way. One line sideways. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn your paper to the side. Okay. And you're going to darken that top line in. Over your foundation line. Okay. Come back and you're going to round it again. You have to show two lines next to that line where the hat's at because, of course, it'd be, a, you know, a single line hat. I mean, you know, there, there's a such thing, but for the purposes of the drawing that we're doing today, there's no, there's no part of the picture that I'm showing you to draw that we're going to have. Um, where it's only going to be one line. I mean, you want you know you want to show a little bit of dimension to the hat, okay? Especially this being a tin hat, okay? You're gonna come around again, okay? And you're just gonna follow that line. Only this time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark it up at this point, okay? And then you're gonna do it again, but just draw run, you know, draw one right underneath that. This is what you should have so far, okay? And from this point, you're gonna cross the line over. Okay, my, my foundation line was right here, but I don't want it there because it's too far out. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit more, bring it up, okay, at an arch, or excuse me, at an angle, and then just connect the two at the top, which will close the top of this, top of this um, tin hat in, okay, this is exactly what you should have right now, okay, and then what you're going to do is, you're going to draw the nose, darken the nose line, and you're going to make a little circle here, a little circle there, and a little circle there. You're going to make one circle here and one circle there, one line this way, one line going that way, one line going this way, one line going this way, and one line going down this way. Okay, this is the drawing you should have right now. Okay. And pretty much after that, everything is just the cleanup. All right. Now what I'm going to show you here is is it's called where you're going to blend stuff together. Let's say you don't want to color anything in with a pencil or shade anything in with a pen or whatever you don't want to do. Okay. What I'm going to show you here, this is called a blending stump and this helps you blend things so you don't have to use your fingers you don't have to use the side of the pencil to get your drawing all dirty all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start right here at the very bottom of his ear okay and i'm going to pull these lines in okay but i'm only going to do this side because i don't want to dirty my drawing on this side all right so i'm going to start with a couple lines here and there Couple scratches just underneath the hat. Then I'm gonna just go over the middle, this part here, back. I'm gonna go over it again. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the blending stump, okay, and you're gonna blend the pencil marks that you just put in. Okay, now for me that's still a little too light. So what I want to do is now is I want to darken these areas with lines. Okay. And I want to take this blending stump, come around the side again. Okay. But leave the little area light on that particular part because what's going to happen is you want to show a little bit of, a little bit of a highlight on that side. And so you're going to do this in the middle. Now, on this part, because this is his face, right, you want to go ahead and you want to darken this as dark as you can because you want to have this separate from this. Really get in there dark with that lid. Now, 2H is a very light pencil, so 
Might have to go over there a couple times. Okay. You can kind of see where it's going from that point. And what you want to do is you want to do a couple lines. Like that. On his eyes. Okay. And then with the blending stump. Blend very lightly. Okay. And if you catch something, fix it. Something doesn't look right, fix it. Okay. So you got that part covered. Now what you want to do is now you want to come back and do the same thing dark with your lid right here. Okay, now you have two distinct gradations of the pencil color. Now, once again here, what you want to do is you want to make a couple lines. Which are going to show underneath the hat. Take your blending stump. Okay, darken this area in. Okay. To me, that's still a little too light, so I'm going to go ahead and darken this part a little bit more. But not go all the way down. Remember, you got to have that little open area of light. Okay, and to me, that's good enough. All right. Next, what you want to do is I'm going to turn my paper to the side a little bit so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of scratch scratches in with the pencil. Okay. And with that, you're going to take your blending stump and you're going to carry that lead over into the top of the hat. Bring some into the tip of the hat a little bit. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Not all of it, though. Just enough. Bring it in on this side. Bring some into the hat. And then work the middle. And this will save you a lot of dirty fingers. This will save you a lot of messed up drawings. If you just happen to smear it, you know, what have you. Now me, I'm going to draw a couple lines here. I'm going to draw a couple lines here. And I'm going to go ahead and roll this in on this side. Roll this in with his chin down here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but not as much. Just enough. Pull it in. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the nose. Okay. I'm going to make the nose extremely dark because other than his eye, this is going to be a focal point, which is going to be the center of the picture, meaning this is the first thing that they're going to look at other than his eyes. Okay. Draw right on his nose, and then I'm going to leave a couple areas open on his nose so that way you can have a little bit of a shine going on on his nose. Okay, and if you want, darken it in a little bit so you can kind of see where it's going. And then next is you're going to darken, let me turn my paper over again, you're going to darken the mouth. And the good thing about darkening this part of the mouth is that if one lip is bigger, or excuse me, your lip is bigger on one side or smaller than the other side, you can even it out with the lid. Okay, now a couple lines here just to give a little bit of a shadow. All right, now what you want to do right after that is you have this, this ear here that you haven't finished yet, but you know, for the sake of what we're trying to do, is you want to do this after strengthen these lines, sharpen them, give a couple of different little detail effects. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to come right here and you're going to Darken these lines in real quick. Darken real quick. Just darken. And you're going to go back to your ear. And again, just go over everything. Kind of check everything that will, you know, will work for you, what you don't like. Go over it. If you need to smear some stuff, smear some stuff, you know. 
blend some things out. I'm gonna get a little bit of a shadow just underneath his hat. Do the same thing. And there is your Goofy from 1943. Thanks for watching.